Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mustafa Youssef from AUC. Uh, in this recording, we will explain how to download and install a virtual machine under Windows, and also to install Ubuntu, uh, which is a Linux distribution version 18 in particular, uh, under the virtual machine. So everything will be running under Windows as if it's just a usual program. So let's start. Uh, let's share a screen. You could, for example, um, type here Oracle Virtual Machine, and we would web page. We have uh, the platform that we are gonna install the virtual machine on is Windows, so we can download. Uh, the Windows installer right away. So that's that's the uh, virtual machine that we are gonna install. And to save time, it would be wise also to, because this is only like one, 100 megabytes, so it's not big, but it would be wise as well uh, to install the Ubuntu version that we are gonna uh, set up under the virtual machine simultaneously, because this is gonna take like an hour or so. Uh, so if you go also to Google and type something like Ubuntu uh, download, I would actually type Ubuntu 18 because there is there is Ubuntu 20 right now, but but it's not compatible with some of the software that we are going to use. So I will type uh, Ubuntu 18. And LTS is usually the latest uh, supported version. So when you see this LTS, usually this is the one that's supported, and this is still supported, obviously. Um, there are several options, but I'm going to use this one, the desktop image. Uh, so if you start downloading this, uh, this will take its two gigabyte uh, of space. So it's gonna take like an hour or so. So I would recommend uh, downloading it in the background while working on, install on installing the virtual machine. So let's go to the virtual machine really quick. Uh, let's just stop this share. And uh, Meanwhile, I can go to the virtual machine uh, file that I downloaded, it's ready here. So let me share the screen one more time. It's in my downloads for, uh, folder. So this is the one I downloaded. I just double clicked on it as if it's just a regular uh, Windows thing. So I type next. Uh, this looks all the standard stuff. So I would say next. Create start menu, yes, shortcut on the desktop, yes, please. Uh, and the quick launch bar, yeah, why not? Uh, register file associates, yeah, fine. That's all, all looks okay. So we type next, install, and uh, it says, do you want to allow this make change your device? Yes, I can allow it, no problem. And it's gonna take for a while, so uh, yeah, install here. So I'm gonna stop the recording until it gets installed and then we continue. Okay, so let's continue. We installed the virtual machine now and that's the icon here of this virtual machine uh, uh, on the computer. So now I can actually start uh, installing a new virtual machine on the Windows. So let's type new, I'm gonna call it Ubuntu uh ubuntu 18 just to be complete i will leave this standard location it's linux it's ubuntu that's fine here i need to allocate the memory the ram memory uh, that's going to be used by the virtual machine of course i cannot use all the memory i have on my computer because otherwise windows is not going to run uh, i can use maybe you know i would use half the memory that i have let's say this is, I have eight megabyte of memory, eight, eight, uh, eight gigabyte of memory on my machine. So I'm gonna use about four gigabyte uh, to the virtual machine. Hard disk, if you wish, you can add virtual hard disk to the new machine. You can either create a new hard disk. Uh, I will certainly create a virtual hard disk for my machine, okay? Uh, I don't have an existing one, and certainly I need to add it, okay? The recommended size is 10 gigabyte. No, we are gonna use more than this. 10, gig 10 gigabyte is not, is not large enough for us. So let's do create. 
uh, hard disk file type. Please choose the type of the file that you'd like to use for the new virtual hard disk. Um, you know, I will just use the standard, I mean, the first choice. I'm not going to change this one. Uh, do you want it dynamically allocated or fixed size? The fixed size actually usually runs faster. It takes time to generate, but it runs faster when you run simulations on, on it. So I would go for the fixed size. And here I need to decide uh, the size of uh, the size of uh, that hard disk dedicated to the virtual machine. It might be wise actually uh, to open, uh, let's say, uh, let's type here this PC and to see how much hard space do I have. So on my computer, there is 475 gigabyte. It's a tiny hard disk, I would say. And there is only 193 free. Uh, I don't want to use all of the 193 gigabytes, all of them, that's too much. I would go for, you know, 90 or something, something like that. So let's increase this 90, 90, yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, something along these lines, 90 something. Yeah, here we go. So 90 and hit create. So this is gonna really take some time. So because of this, uh, I will actually, um, I will actually leave it creating the virtual machine and then I will continue this recording later. So let's stop here. Okay, so we continue the recording here. <clears throat> um, after the installation of the virtual machine. So let's see. So this is our virtual machine. I would actually play a little bit with the settings. So for example, if I go here, and in particular, I need to point out what is the location of the Ubuntu uh, file that we just downloaded. So you would, from this controller IDE, you would actually uh, uh, add hard disk and uh, basically searching for the location. Actually, I already did this exercise. I got it from my downloads and, and I pointed out where is, where is the location of my Ubuntu 18 file. So, that basically points out to the virtual machine, where is the source out from which it will install Ubuntu. A few things that one can adjust. So the memory is good, the RAM memory is great. The processors. So on this machine, apparently I have 12 CPUs and I'm just using one for the virtual machine. Why not I use more? So let's actually go, well, um, I can do six or eight. Let's go eight, for example. And yeah. Okay, so now after I pointed out where is the location of uh, the Ubuntu, I can double click on the virtual machine. Here it is, this is Ubuntu 18. It's gonna start up. And here we go, this is the Linux. It's still of course not installed, so I need to install it. It's taking some time. It's loading as if, uh, yeah, here we go. So try Ubuntu, install Ubuntu. No, I'm gonna install it. Uh, English US, that's fine. English US, that's fine. Continue. Normal on installation, yes, just normal stuff. Download updates while installing Ubuntu. Well, if you have a good internet connection, then why not? Uh, yeah. Erase disk and install Ubuntu. Yeah, that's totally fine. We see here this warning, but that's absolutely fine because whatever erased disk space is within the 90 gigapascal that we dedicated for the virtual machine. So that's totally fine. So install now. Uh, yeah, continue, no worries. Yeah, we are in Cairo, that's fine. That's the time of the uh, virtual machine, so I continue. Your name, well, 
Um, I can type my name. So for example, Mustafa. So this is how it's gonna end. I'm gonna call it Mustafa's virtual machine. That's fine. I'm just leave it Mustafa. Pick a username, Mustafa. Uh, choose a password. Yeah, choose a password that's convenient for you. Let me choose something. Another password. I need to repeat it again. Well, let's say we have a password, but that's fine. It's within your computer already. Login automatically require my password to log in. Yeah, why not require my password? You can make it login automatically. It's totally fine as well. Uh, and yeah, this is going to take some time. This is going to really take some time because it's installing all of Ubuntu uh, 18. So let's leave it aside and we will continue after it's finished. Okay, so we continue. The installation finished, and I did some restart uh, for the uh, Ubuntu within, um, within uh, the virtual machine. And um, let me log in here with the password that I used before. And yeah, I can skip this, this stuff. Uh, live batch, I don't know what that is. Yeah. Zoom, there is a Zoom client here. There are some useful stuff um, that uh, you can install. And let me say done. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's basically uh, the Ubuntu um, distribution that we just installed. Okay, so we would like also to see how can we possibly fix the resolution um, <clears throat> a little bit because, you know, this is too tiny here. So we want to make sure that's actually uh, filling the whole window. So let's actually open a terminal. We will apply a couple of commands. So sudo, sudo is a command that means that I am a super user of this um, machine and I'm, I have the privilege to install software. So sudo apt-get update. Basically, this is a command that's going to connect the internet. By the way, if your Windows is connected to the internet, you are automatically connect your virtual machine and Linux underneath uh, are connected to the internet. So we hit this, uh, I type my password. And basically what this does, it connects to Rebels online and making sure that it has the up-to-date software in these Rebels. Of course, we will, we will, update, we will do this further later on, but, but at least now uh, let's get with these basic Rebels. Uh, another command that we would like uh, to type here, let me actually get this uh, from a YouTube video. Uh, that I am preparing here. So it is this command. I can't actually copy paste from Windows to the virtual machine right away. So let's actually uh, open it here. It is sudo update install and del essential gcc make curl. Uh, KMS. Yes. Now I think it's just filling. Uh, already, you see, it's already filling the whole. Um, window. It's taking some time here.
So it downloaded and now it installs. Yeah, while this is working, let me just show you that this is pretty much standard stuff. Like it comes with a browser. Uh, this is an email software. Probably I don't need this guy. So maybe I remove it from the favorites. Uh, and yeah, here we have everything done. Um, if I click on this, there are other software that's available to me. Um, so let's open the browser. So of course there is a whole office. Uh, so this is similar to Word. This is similar to Excel. This is similar to PowerPoint. Uh, you can click on this guy and it's gonna open, it's called Libra Office. Yeah, but uh, let me actually, Just to make sure, yeah. So this is this is automatically connected to the internet as I just described since you already have uh, your, uh, your Windows connected to the internet. And here we go, you have everything. Uh, you have the correct resolution here. Um, maybe the, any fine tuning we can do. If you do the display, I can play with the resolution a little bit. Let's try this one. So this is, 1920 by 950. Let's try. Apply. Keep change. Yeah, I don't know why. I think that, oh, didn't change it. Uh, I can play with the resolution a little bit just to make sure. So let's go back again to settings. And maybe you should. Close the terminal. It's a little bit slow in its response. Uh, not sure why. But yeah, so if I go to display resolution, it's kind of not responsive here. Yeah, display resolution. Well, basically what I'm trying to describe is that one can play with the resolution a little bit uh, until until it fits your, your window well. But basically those two steps are very important. Uh, the ones the sudo apt get install and the other command are very important for, um, for adjusting uh, the window to fill the whole screen. Thank you very much.